What is up everybody? David Maguire here, back with another episode of the Full Game Ice Walkthrough, episode number 42. And today, we get to do something, well, we get to do something magical. We get to do a Rost Home. Is it Rost Home? Yeah, it's Frost Home. I went and I bought some potions to do Frost Home. Um... We'll at least get Frost Home Day today. Um, just a regular 30 to 45 minute episode this time. No hour special this time, sorry. Not feeling that antsy, not today. Uh, Terrader within. Okay. Talk to Ehrlich. Okay. At any time, these guys can just attack us, but, you know, he thinks we're on his side, so. I will be distraught if we can't use a mountain here. Well, where's my. Have I gone blind? Oh, there it is. Oh my god, okay, what? Uh, we'll just have to take the slow route today. What do you want, young cub? Ulrich Oathbreaker leans forward and speaks in a whisper. You can trust me. Grimnir told me of an outlander who was trying to help us rid our village of the Red Claw. I pretended to break my oath so that I could learn how to defeat the Red Claw, but I am still loyal to my people. I don't know, your name is Oathbreaker. I don't trust you. I can tell you how to cause trouble for the Red Claw and help you get to see Ivar Anderson. I'm listening. If your goal is to get to speak with Ivar Anderson, you must gain the trust of his henchman, Gunnar Quickaxe. Gunnar is the Red Claw camp leader. Okay. Go present yourself to Gunnar Quickaxe. Tell him you will work for him. When he gives you a task, return to me. We will see if we can turn it to our advantage. That that sounds pretty good. Go talk to Quick Axe, see what, see what he wants me to do. You want to join the Red Claw, huh? You don't look like much, but we'll take anyone who's ruthless and resourceful. I see that you've got a good weapon to add to those we've already got. Good then. Go and find Haldor Stormwatcher. He's in charge of our weapon storehouse. He'll want to see that fine sword you've brought us. Alright. Talk to Ulrich. I'll talk to Oathbreaker and see what he wants me to do. Here in Frost Home. It is as I thought. Haldor Stormwatcher is our quartermaster. He is in charge of the horde of weapons the Red Claw arm themselves with. If you wish to help the people of Anders Holt, defeat Halder Stormwatcher and sabotage the weapons he's got stored. That will weaken the Red Claw when they try to use them in battle. Yeah. So we get to go talk to Haldar. Let's go ahead and I'm going to assume moving my boss deck boss deck on. Alright, I'm make sure. I'm down to nine. Team, oh my gosh, am I running out this app? I can have Zach take me to buy some. I need to. You there! I'm Haldor Stormwatcher. I'm the quartermaster here. With these weapons I've gathered, the Red Claw will easily defeat all our foes. Okay. We'll take the King's own city from him and we'll rule all of Grizzleheim. What do you have for me? What do you mean it's not for me? Foolish young cub, step a bit closer and I'll take it from you. Nah, not happening. One thousand one hundred. Okay, stepping it up just a little bit. I don't think it's worth. I oh, get yeah, it, isn't. It's only one thousand one hundred. It's not bad. My other pet that I'm making does give 40 as well. I'll probably transfer it over when I get it to Epic. You guys probably won't see it. I mean, I'll try to get it further than Epic, but... I don't want to show it to you until... Until we start Dragon's Fire. I've been thinking about where the best place to... Uh, take a photo for the thumbnail would be, and I'm not quite 
certain yet. So if you guys have any suggestions of where I should take the uh, Dragon's Fire Dragon's Fire thumbnail photo, I'd appreciate some suggestions. It helps out a lot. Uh, just trying to make thumb for that. That is an Ice Blade DC. Oh, what? I totally forgot I had that. Go ahead and blizzard. It just does. Oh, that's why not kill. Alright. That's not killing. Oh, dude. I can. I can eat this spell, man. Greatest spell in the game. My hero for today. Let's see how much this does. Enchanted. 300? 350? I do a decent amount. Ooh, I did more than I thought it was gonna do. That was really powerful, not enchanted. Lord have mercy. Tunic of the Torch Bearer. It's actually not bad. Well, I don't even give damage, but you know. You use some tricks the blacksmith taught you to weaken the metal of the weapons. With a little work, they become useless for battle. Now you have some useless weapons. Ooh, they do put heals here. I might not even use these potions today. It's all good. I think Frost Home is the short. Honestly, it's the shortest dungeon in Grizzlion. Let's talk to Oathbreaker. You have done well. If they use those weapons in battle, they will certainly be defeated. No one suspects your work yet, but you should remain careful. Okay. Our work is going well, but we can do much more to weaken the Red Claw and ensure their defeat. That's a good idea. Go and speak to Gunnar Quickaxe once more and see what task he will put you to. Such an opportunity can be used against the Red Claw. That's my plan. Use all the things I can against Red Claw. You again? Looking for more work, I gather. Very well. If you want to be useful, go and give this gift of fine golden arm rings to the boars that just joined the Red Claw. Their leader is named Scar Snout. He's not too bright and has a rash temper, so do not anger him. Give him the gold and he'll distribute it to his warriors. That should show the boars that we respect them and see them as our equals. Huh. Okay, so we're gonna do something to totally disrespect them then. Gunnar gave you golden arm rings to give to Scar Snout, leader of the boars? Those are fine gifts, tokens of the highest respect. They won't see those arm rings, though. Ulrich looks around and pulls out a small wooden bottle. It looks like something a child would drink from. Oh. I found this earlier today. It's blueberry juice, a drink for cranky little cubs with upset stomachs. Give it to Scar Snout. <laughs> Ah, uh, we're gonna get attacked! We're about to get attacked. We're about to run out of monsters. Zack, save us. <laughs> oh my gosh. We will be getting attacked. With the highest of disrespect. Scar Snout is going to be mad. <laughs> Scar Snout happy to join Red Claw. Gunner says he gives us gift to show respect. You bring gift? You give the bottle of blueberry juice to Scar Snout. A look of confusion crosses his face, then anger. What this? Blue juice for Cranky Tommy? This drink for Cobb, not Warrior! Gunner insults us? He think boys are Cranky Cobbs? Scar Snout send message back to Gunner. He start by smashing you! Okay, Myth Boss, Myths watch out, and this guy may or may not join, it just, he might just circle, but I know for a fact he's going to join, so I'm actually going to go ahead, I'm going to trap Amblade, I need to make sure that I can kill, because that Blizzard last time did not do enough, I underestimate Blizzard sometimes, or I overestimate Blizzard sometimes, did he just walk away? He's going to join the battle right as I kill this duel. Oh my. Please join the battle. Thank you. I can hit next. Oh, 
But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm hoping the pet keeps going the way it's going right now. Um, if not, at the point it is right now, it's still better than the one I have on now. Um, but hopefully I can get it to where I want it to be, at least. That's my ice blade, which I might have to use if... Well, I think we have enough TCs to get through Frost Home, at least. Just not quite, but, you know. And then after this episode... Or in the middle, I'll have Zack take me to the Arcanum. Maybe after this dungeon. No, we're only ten minutes in. What? Alright, do I have a... These guys love Blood Bat. That's not even funny. Disrespected. What? Should kill. Should kill. Doesn't mean it will, but it should. A completely disrespected team. Wow. An OP spell like Blood Bat. Well, something tells me Scar Snout is not a friend, and these guys noticed nothing. Like, noticed absolutely nothing, just completely like, oh yeah, even though we're like right here, we don't care. Frostbomb's really cool though. What's this rain? I'm not gonna probably get near him. I think the only thing new I'll need before is a new deck probably, new decks, because I can probably get new decks, and the ring is fine, like... Yeah, the ring's fine. Really happy with that ring, actually. Let's talk to Oathbreaker. Good work. Now the boars think the Red Claw has no respect for them. They are still troublesome, but they won't be allies. Our work, I think, is almost at an end. We can risk one more act of sabotage, and it had better be for the greatest good. Go and see Gunnar Quickaxe and see what mischief he will set you to. Then return once more, and we will try to make good of it. Okay, then. Let's talk to Gunnar once more. You there, young cub. How do the boys like their golden arm rings? I'll wager they were quite pleased. Did Scar Snout send word back? No oath of fealty, no promise of aid. <clears throat> that is troubling, but no great matter. The boys will likely show their gratitude in another way. Okay. If you want to be a member of the Red Claw, we have need of ruthless, cruel men who will not listen to the cries of weaklings. Go to the jail and speak to Olaf Iron Chains. We've captured some villagers, and Olaf will need help breaking their spirit. <laughs> About breaking their spirit. So we're gonna free them. <laughs> we're, we're gonna do an attack and free them. Gunnar wants you to go interrogate villagers, does he? Your choice is clear. Defeat Olaf Iron Chains and set the villagers free. We're getting a decent amount of XP from this dungeon, actually. Oh, we'll probably level... So, I want to say 40, 45, maybe 46? I guess it just depends on the path we go on, so... But there's a red claw charger down here that we will fight. These prisoners will be furry here in a minute. We're coming to save you, prisoners. Gonna send you to help interrogate these weakling villagers? Good. I can use an assistant. An assistant? No, I'm gonna beat your ass. Go and soften them up some. Put the fear into them. I'll follow it up with the hurt. Here's a key to their cell doors. Let me know if they talk. What are you doing? I'll get you. Nah. We don't have time for that level of disrespect, Mr. Ulof. Mr. Uskalof. What about aid? Oh, I was gonna say, and now my blade TC doesn't wanna show up. Wow. 
45, so that's good. He's kind of salt. He's like, oh, what is up? That is the highest level of disrespect. That is, wow. Like just, this is for you, o or not? I need to hydrate because of that. I'm getting smacked with fire. Oh no, I'm melting. Oh, it's too good. Oh no, I'm melting. I'm melting, young wizard. Please help. Help me. This blizzard will cool you up a little bit. What do you think? No? I think so. Goodbye. Yeah, Dragon's Fire is going to require a lot more blading. I might go for my Zeus Robe just for the damage. I don't know, it just depends. I'll have more damage with the pet that I'm making, so... 342. Have that up, might as well use it. Yo, Wyvern. Actually, did a lot of damage. How much is this doing? Five seventeen. All right. So what do I get? Thought I got couch potatoes again. I was going to poop myself. I have like three pages of couch potatoes in my shared bank. I don't know if this character is going to make a garden or my myth. Right. Just depends. Gotta talk to Oath Moraikar. Oath. Say the Oath. Sorry. You did well. Olaf Iron Chains was evil, and the prisoners are safely away from here now. Gunnar hasn't heard of our acts of sabotage yet, so you should go speak. He'll surely let you in to see Ivar Anderson after all that you've done for him. Something tells me it's not going to be that easy. Let's. Yeah, that's only 400 health, but. Land safe just a little bit. You there! I've heard some troubling news. Weapons destroyed, balls angry, and now escaped prisoners. You're not with us! Brothers of the Red Claw, attack! Attack! Oh, I got pulled! Fire boss! Oh my gosh, please! Woo! He pulled me! He's just like, attack! I'm not having this attack! Heckhound? Please. I need a drink of water. I'm going to die. Alright, that's better. Just a little bit. Wow. He said, attack! But yeah, this is pretty much the end of Vigor Trumpland. Oh. Now. Go ahead. About 1,000 damage. Oh, boost. How I kill? How much is the boost? 20? 30? It's about the same as a blade, I believe. But the resist is like an 80 shield. So. Yeah, it's about that of a blade. What's gonna get? Harvard? Oh my. Yeah, I'm not. I can refer you that a kill is not happening. Just go ahead and blade. blade up. Blade up for the shake up. Got one. Oh. I have been disrespected too much in this world and have gotten zero to none experience. Please leave this blaze. <laughs> Not even worth it. 
your slime is so long and gives no experience, and Winter Tusk is like really short and gives a lot of experience. Done. <laughs> you know, split it up a little bit, please. I don't know what that's called. Kill. It's gonna kill? Not blades, so yeah, I should kill. I'm gonna be really upset if it doesn't. So we are 20 minutes in. We have sabotaged, killed leaders, and now we're going to go talk to Ivar Anderson, the one and only Ivar Anderson. So, gotta go through this gate. And oh, tell me we don't have to fight these guys, please. Oh, I'm going to get pulled from a mile. I can feel it already. Okay, good. I do not know who sent you, but you're not leaving here alive. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, Ivar. Just a little bit. I'm going alive. And you are not going to stop me. Eighteen and... Hello. Ivar, please, leave this place. I can't believe Frost Home took 21 minutes, actually. Not bad, but... After this, we will go stock up on Monstrous for the next decade or so, and then... I don't know. I bought some of my Storm that I need to transfer over, but... I don't know if I feel like doing it right now. Do -do. Do -do -do -do. Let's go ahead and blade up. There's only what, three weeks of a semester left? I can't believe that. It's like school on Monday. We got this weekend off. It's like three weeks of the semester left. I just. Just. It was by so fast. Got one more year left. High school, and move on to better things. Not college, for those of you wondering. Not college. Not doing that. Not for that. Not for that lifestyle. This is not killing Ivar either. Wow, he has 1,800 health. That was a triple blade. Like faint it. Please, Ivar. Smack him with a wand. Plus 35. Thank you. It's just doing like 900. Pass. Lightning bats. You should have thunder snared just for disrespect. I need to kill this tool. Oh, I already have one. Cool. Well, he's gone. My TCs are gone. Is he not dead? This is not oh, okay. That graceful death. Remove the eye of truth from your pouch and hold it up. The illusion upon the thane falls away. His true identity is revealed. It does not matter that you've seen my true face. We have the Thane. You cannot stop us! You have defeated the imposter who betrayed the folk of Anders Holt. But where is the true Thane? Where is Ivar Anderson? What? Tame. Okay. Let's go talk to Egel Axebreaker. Or bearer, breaker, bearer. See what he wants us to do. Let's get out of Frost Home. Oh my gosh. We have pretty much destroyed the Red Claw down to its core. But now there is a bigger issue. That was a raven. Oh my. Something bigger is going on, Tim. Something bigger. Something way bigger. <laughs> he didn't even come in and realize, so yeah. 
down here, maybe? Or no, I'll do one across this bridge, because it'll kind of take me down into a hidey hole, and then... Oh, there's a teleporter. I thought there was a teleporter. Because these guys pull from a mile. I am bound to get pulled. Oh, I don't even know how I did that. I deserve a prize. What? Please. My gosh. These guys are bad. There's actually a Oh, missed it. Just collect everything for crafting. A wooden chest. A little hidey hole for it to spawn in. Got 29 gold. Not bad, not bad. Considering. We have an issue, Axe Bearer. A huge issue. Did you meet with success? Yes, kind of. A foul raven was disguised as Ivar Anderson? That's grim news indeed. That is why our Thane acted without honor and betrayed us. If he was a raven, then where is the real Ivar Anderson? You should go and give this news to Bjorn Ironclaws. He was a friend of Ivar's and will know what to do. Soon, thanks to you, we will be rid of the Red Claw. Wow. Let's go talk to Bjorn. Wrap things up for today. This is where we get to talk to His Majesty, the King. Wow. That is wow. Bjorn! We have problems! Young Outlander, did you learn what troubled the village of Anders Holt? Bjorn Ironclaws looks troubled as you explain that Ivar Anderson was replaced by a raven trickster who betrayed the folk of Anders Holt. You tell a dark tale, one I wish I had not heard. The king must know of this. I will tell him when we next hold council. <laughs> like, I'll tell him later. Thank you for your help in this great matter. Your fame grows with every deed you accomplish. Soon you will be counted among Grizzleheim's mightiest heroes. Wow. In the time since we last spoke, the wolves are howling in anger at our king. They say they have proof the bears have sided with the Red Claw. They claim that they captured Ivor Anderson, Thane of Anders Holt. I thought it a mistake. But now I know they have the real Thane, and the one we knew was an imposter. Now brave warriors ready themselves to assault the wolves, to rescue the Thane from their midst. Demonstrate your loyalty to our king by joining this assault, and proving your valor in battle. Okay. Go and speak to Osric Grimbold, the leader of those warriors. He is surely in need of your aid. Alrighty, team. We literally did the second part in two episodes. For granted, we did most of it last episode. This episode, we wrapped up the Vigid Rovland. Now we just have Murkholm Keep and Ravenscar left. You know, I think we're on a pretty good path. Um, that hour special really... Uh, it gave us the boost we needed to go. Like, go, 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 let's go, let's go. You know... Anyways, guys, if you made it this far in the video, I do appreciate it. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe for more full game ice walkthrough. Anyways, guys, stay safe and peace out.